Um, so yeah, welcome to the stream. We've gathered here for the second Spooktober game of 2024. It being called Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Uh, sometimes, as I always say, sometimes the, the definition and the meaning of of Spooktober um, can be stretched, can be malleable. We can, uh, and honestly, it just comes down to I've been meaning to play Ghost Trick, and also uh, it has the word ghost in the title. That's it. So I think it's as good a reason as any. Uh, also, thank you for 18 months. Holy shit, that's of an actual year and a half. And now you get the, you get the, what shade of color is this? Magenta? One and a half year? Now you're stuck with that color for six months at least. <laughs> Magenta. Uh, so yeah, Ghost Trick. Honestly, <laughs> yay. I said it as if it was like a, a bad thing, but maybe that's uh maybe that's your shade. Maybe that's your shade of color. Um I've said this before, but I'll say it again now that we're actually starting this. For some reason, it's not like I generally have like millions of people recommending me games, but from different areas, I have had probably Ghost Trick is the top recommended game to play from different people and i don't and it's one of those things where it's like oh that's good and i love getting game recommendations and that's all really good and hopefully i'll get to every single fucking game that is ever recommended to me but for some reason in my head there's like a weird like pressure that comes with that because <laughs> then if i don't like like it <laughs> if i if i don't vibe with the game um Oh, what is this? If I don't vibe with the game, then uh, I feel bad about everything. Let's see if it'll auto capture. There it is. See if my controller works. It does. Ghost Trick. All right. I don't know anything about Ghost Trick. Honestly, I, I knew, obviously, back in the day, released on the DS. It wasn't a DS game that I necessarily got to. Um, so now we're uh, this. So, yes, it should be, as you as you're saying there, it is noted. It is not, we're not playing this. On an original DS side, this is the PC version you can pick up on Steam, which is what I did. So we are here playing the Steam version. Button icon display. Uh, what's the difference between these? I mean, I, I see the difference, but I don't know what the controller. No, we'll do this. Selecting details while connected to the network lets you view the privacy policy. Hmm. I'm good. Uh, but other than that, I hope it's a fun thing. I know, I know, other than the recommendation from a lot of people, I know a lot of people speak very highly of Ghost Trick as a game. There is, I start getting some PTSD flashbacks just mentally, because I'm like, oh, it's a Capcom game. It was released around the time of like the Phoenix Wright games. In my head, I always link them. I always link the Phoenix Wright games and then this game, and then it all starts rushing back at me, and I'm like, oh no. Don't do it to me. Listen to this music. It's funky. Um, also, I should say, yesterday, 
I mean, I didn't have to say anything. I debated even saying anything, because who actually cares? But, like, I mean, I care. That's why I'm saying it. But, um, I know yesterday I said I would be doing this during the day. Um, something popped up. So, uh, things happen. <laughs> so, instead, I'm here tonight. That's it. That's the, all I had to say. All I will say. Uh... Let's see, uh, what is, why is extras? What's an extras, huh? Ghost puzzle. How many chapters are there? Jesus. Say stream? Day stream, I think you mean? I know, I, uh... Eighteen chapters? That seems like a lot. Illustrations. Oh hell yeah. Let me look at characters I don't know. Oh I can zoom. Chapters are short. Oh, interesting. Because I didn't think, again, prep work for this. I didn't think this game was super, super long. So. Is this spoilers if I listen to music before? Let's just get right to it then. Uh, so yeah, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Let me know if audio needs to be adjusted as far as game audio go up or down or something. <laughs> Chapter one, 702. Hopefully the PC port is good. Hopefully it's not bad that I'm not playing on the DS. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming when I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not, anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself ass up. This has got to be me. No question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? So long, sister! I feel bad for her, sure. But what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this, I assume I'm going to have to be reading during this game, yeah? This is no time to be rolling around dead. Lolling. You're the only one who can save her. I didn't consider that I would have to be reading, but it makes sense too. Whoa, what kind of voice do I want to give this man? <laughs> uh, what the? No. What the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do, uh, all you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. See that fire burning inside of you. Why did he die like that? Like, no one... My normal voice should be good. Fair enough. I see, I see it's, a, that's a thinly veiled way of trying to... Hey, Austin, can you, like, not do some weird voice? <laughs> Please. You don't need to do that. Uh, do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see what bright light... Br so, I assume you've played this game then before? Is this, uh, you've already... You've already played or know of this game? And do you see that bright white spot nearby? 
That's a core. A core? Hmm. Just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand it is just try it. First of all, try moving your soul with D-pad. Next, move your soul across to connect with the core. Oh, so you like extend. I don't know, there's probably not much I don't remember about it. Oh, okay, I see. Congratulations. Your soul is now possessed a crossing gate. So what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem. <clears throat> now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That'll be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So, before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Uh, hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do a trick. Yeah, look at the trick. Hold it. Oh. That didn't work. Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. Something in my throat. <laughs> I'm dying. You mean, I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulate that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a ghost trick like that is press X. Now the woman's fate has changed. I'll be just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm. That's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then trans er, perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it, let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. I see. A guitar then, is it? Ahem. <laughs> hey, what do you want from me? You preferred that giant wrecking ball. That would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Trick time! Uh, that's gotta be some of the slowest running way I've ever seen. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? Guess all there is is me. No time to be picky. Got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly. But. But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just try and see? Try it and see. Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Trick time. Trick time. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore. Aren't really just ordinary things. You've gotta be kidding! Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Use D-pad to move it in any direction you want. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Bang! No! Oh. <laughs> How unceremoniously just flops to the ground. Well, game over. <laughs> I let her down. Rewind time. Do something. Out of my way. Or out of my way. Whatever I, the voice I gave him. Out of my way. Man. I'm not... I'm not shit talking the game, but I can definitely see how this this fits like DS aesthetic, like art so much. It's done. I'm on my way. I can't sit on a voice or him. 
milady. <laughs> In the end, looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? Just as I was thinking this. I read that line weird again. Oh, it's the Pixar lamp. The Pixar lamp is talking to me. Uh, hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy. What happened tonight? Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little bit too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. Still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now? I still have more to teach you about your powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, you've done that. I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Literally, bring back the dead. Or something. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his innovation. Invitation, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh no, it's just like dang uh not dang roll, but uh it's just like fucking Higarashi. Where I'm gonna be misreading everything. Exposing my inability to read. Uh my reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around, discard like trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time! That thought bubble you just pressed? Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So, dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. Just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And L1 is your ticket in. Ghost. Oh. The best thing to do is to try it. L1, eh? Guess I'll press it. Ghost. If I keep pressing it. At the wrong time. Ghost. So how long is my... My stick? Look at it. So I assume on the DS you would draw like a line maybe. But look how noodly it is. <laughs> like, look how... <laughs> oh, this is fun. I love just being a... By the way, have you taken a look at that middle of the screen? What about it? it tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. Information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So, in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it? And to perform a trick on that object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, circle is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Huh? Who's this we? Unfold! Or... Flag. So if I go back, it doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm, t I'm testing, I'm limit testing here. Look at that, <laughs> swaying from side to side. Huh, that's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. 
there's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, huh? Anyway. Congratulations. You passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one? Now, let's review. You possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True. You don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there's something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try and see? Trick time. I'm going ghost. Every time I go, I do the ghost thing. I think of fucking Danny Phantom. Gotta go ghost. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Hmm. Looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's save her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure. You make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past, to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right. There's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. None of it makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Uh, hey, wait a second. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Rewind time. Four minutes before death. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Four minutes before death. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's... dead. I like her hair. Who are you? I'm a I'm a blue skinned mobster. Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. <laughs> Changed his voice every time I've read a line. You did this? You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. <laughs> who are you? Some sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the traces of Temsik left in this country. Temsik? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. It'd be really unfortunate if I was to be smashed by the wrecking ball and I, you know, decided for some reason not to to stand right not right underneath it anyway look all I want to know is who are you you don't know me and I don't know you this is just business I don't have like a mobster voice in my repertoire so long sister oof hold it who's there hold it a uh, shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me the nearsighted Jigo. 
but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Oh, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Bang! Again. I have to see her die. And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick? Ghost trick. What a silly, silly title. Uh, and you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, the starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. D do the ghost thing. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Who are you? I like her outfit. What a what a cute little character she is. I hope I she doesn't die again. <laughs> uh, the last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the right side of the screen. The right side, eh? The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Ghost time. Roll. What are my options? I can fold back up. Can I move the screen? No, probably not. Wow. Is time currently ticking as I'm fucking around here? Or am I good? Am I free? Okay, so I can fold or I can roll. Let's roll. Go. Yes. No! I hit the button on accident. Roll back. <laughs> okay, yeah. Time... The sand does not move while I'm not in the real world. Refrigerator open. Go. Click. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsic left in this country. Temsic? What in the world is that? D time is passing, I know! Uh-oh, her time is running out. Uh, go going ghost! Going ghost! Turn on fan? Yeah. Ghost. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, crap. Can I turn on and then get back into it? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry! Is the fan gonna go back? Oh, for fuck's sake. Go! Go! Yes! So long, sister! Just a few more steps. Hope I make it in time. 
stop with the time is passing. I know. It's the mechanic. Ooh. Holding. Who's there? I'm gonna read this every time. Hold it! <laughs> Now's your chance to change your fate. There's so much time left. It's coming down to a battle of seconds. Okay. A three. Time is almost up. You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero. Hmm. Time doesn't pass while I'm in the ghost world. Better possess something fast. Oh. Uh, the ring? Pedal? He gets startled by noise, I would assume. Bang! Damn it. What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point blank range. Beep beep. It looks like he made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Changed. She just goes careening off the edge. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The bridge is up. The jig is up. What does R1 do? Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, we're pedaling. Beep, beep. Bet you're wondering what's going on over there, right? Oh, that's right. If I want to uh, take a look, I can move the screen. Exactly. That's because I put it up. I gotta go ghost. I can't be watching this. Extend ladder. Go. Hit him in the head. Or something. Street light. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Get him. You hear something? Definitely not. What are my options here? Yes! Go! Trick! Let's kill! That's good. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did, and I knew you could do it. The, the lamp believed in me. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. I gotta be 100% honest. Did not think this is what this game was gonna be like. I thought it was... When I came back to the present, it was raining. I thought it was gonna be another, like, pure, like... Uh... Like, almost... Like, half and half, maybe. Like, visual novel. And then, like... And then just dialogue choice things. I didn't know it was going to be actual puzzle stuff. I, I I assumed for again some reason just like talking about earlier like I was envisioning like Phoenix Wright when I um, lumped this game in my head with those. Uh, when I came back to the present, it was raining. I'd saved the life of the stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life and this planet comes to an end, on this planet comes to an end. It's more in the puzzle direction. Alright, so puzzle heads. 
Puzzle heads rejoice. I saved the life of the stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Dot dot dot. Achoo. Get out of the rain, Missy. A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray, as in Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> that was clever, I thought about that. Ray, huh? So you're going to tell me about your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I... I can't remember. Yes, I guess the members of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. So let's get our memories back, others never do. But, if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is, to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But, in any case, seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escape in my own death? Damn! In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But, just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well. I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? Can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. Achoo. Person who witnessed your death. She could have... Uh, she should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Not only that. She might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. God, what if, like, the twist is, like... Well, I, I say twist. I don't even know if there is a twist. But, like, it's, like, a mystery thing. Like, the mystery is, like, we're, like, oh, how did I die? That's established here at the start, right? What if she killed me? I mean, that seems like a very, like, easy thing to guess, right? We're, like, oh, fuck. Maybe she knows how I died. And we follow her, like, throughout the whole game. And then, like, it's revealed. Oh, shit. Yeah, she murdered me for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I'm the bad guy. Maybe I'm a bad person. I'm sure I'm right. <laughs> I, I don't even have to play anymore. Uh, so yeah, Ray says yes. I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight? A place like this? A woman probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. For a cell too to view a record of what you've learned. Be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. Update the phone book. Alright then, wish you good luck. What's in this? Oh, look at this. Me, the mystery. I lost my life at a lonely spot in the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the redheaded woman who witnessed that death. 
Redheaded target. <laughs> there she is, just sneezing. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman, and I saved her with my powers of the dead. Ray of Light. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. And then calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the redheaded woman and me. But he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. What's in this? Phone book. Oh. The place where I lost my life appears to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Here, I met Ray. He taught me about my powers and a red-haired woman who might have information about my death. Great. Ghost time. That didn't work like I thought it would. I better not let her get out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. Shimmy? Oh shit, the shimmy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. I'm such a gentleman. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itso itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. Dude, I was literally just about to say, I really hope she thinks like she has like uncontrollable like psychic powers. <laughs> Perfect. his hair. But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I what it's wrote on it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it. But even more importantly... No, the note! Hmm. Didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but... I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in at around this time too? Oh, yeah! It's done. I'm on my way. That telephone call! Exactly. In other words, at this very moment, on the other end of this telephone line, is a culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess a telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about it. Another one of your ghost tricks. Your silly little ghost tricks. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Another blue-skinned man. Uh, is it done? 
Speak up, man! Did you get her? Who is this? Uh, yes! A thousand pardons, my dear lady! I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Trace complete! So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life? That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can to uh, do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. Uh, I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. There's only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery. Find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. I got a new phone number. Nice. Go. Go. Travel. And so the story of the search for mystery, or myself, begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? A new illustration? How exciting. A new song? How exciting. A new illustration? How exciting. Save it. Hey, we're on to chapter two. Here we go. Blistering pace. Let's go, baby. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers is, uh, to the slurring there. To those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting is also sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Yes, if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight! Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Yes, but I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself, even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And, what's more... That red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. See if I'm back. Trick time. Look at that phone book. Okay. 
Eyebrowed villain, the man who gave Nearside Jigo the order to kill. He's probably behind my death. The red-headed woman's death too, but his motives are unknown. Masked muscle man. Appears to be the odd man's servant. He operates the machines in a strange room expertly. Luxurious parlor. Mysterious devices. Okay. Let's see what I got. Telephone. Can't reach that. Can't reach that. Ah. Hmm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We are changing up our job pound now, sir. <laughs> the process should be completed in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that Jigo, I say. Every year's reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? Seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott! D did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen it. The, the target, Miss Leon, is no longer a threat, sir. Bah! That's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm. Leon. Leon? Line? Leon? Meh. So that's her name, is it? But this file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. Can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? All these mechanisms. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Line L Lean. Lain, Lainy, Linny, Liney. This sure is a weird room. <laughs> I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? I read it as Lin, Lin. You know what, Lin? Lin, it is. We get to decide. <laughs> we, the people who are watching live or playing live get to decide. Lin sounds great to me. It's simple. Projector? I want to do that. It's my only option, I think. Eat hey, that, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Ah, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confound it. Mm, yes. In any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? If I'm going to be reading a bunch, I need to... I need to be... I need to probably go get some water in a sec. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes, Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we'll have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Huh. 
<laughs> yes. Now all we have to do is to pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> 1 thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Didn't they say like Didn't they say like they I would be unreliable or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into my theory already. All right, let's okay, go and ghost. Lamp. Can't reach that. File. Lamp. Projector again. Where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want me to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murder me. Now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. Gotta find the right timing and get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip the situation around. It's a timing thing. Do I need to get him to like choke on the grapes? Choke on grapes. I don't think I did it right. Where's your head, man? I told you I don't want to see his face. Uh, malfunction, sir. I mean, if it's a timing thing, the only thing that's changing is... Unless it's I have to wait a long time. Try one more time. I mean, maybe I'm thinking. No, that's not. I don't. <laughs> no. Okay. I think I misunderstood something. Okay. What kind of connection? Da da da. Da da da. -da. And so spinning the painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. Wait, can I... Alright, one more time. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Oh, get it fixed, man. Unless you want to see me malfunction. Okay, so I had to turn it around so I can move through it. I believe was the case then. There we go. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be when I can even be stalled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. E God. It's even more pathetic to be stalled by the same telephone twice. Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What, Lynn? Hmm. Yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead. Tango to her apartment, sir. Huh? One second. No. There we go. 
Sorry, I had to take care of that. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. I sent one step ahead. Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be a reporting in, sir. Very good. Very good. Lynn is in danger ahead. Or again. Oh, that wasn't... That was my... That was my character saying that. Lynn's in danger. <laughs> this is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her... Then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? Bah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott. Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it. You've even hanging up on one step ahead. Chase complete. To the apartment. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of Nearsighted Jigo's pay. Lynn, can't do, sir. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve this mystery of me. Uh, to the... Uh, how do I... A dial. To the apartment. Look how cool he is. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet. But unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh no. Hmm. Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. The poor, brave little warrior. Must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lin came home now, I have to do something about the situation fast. I'm going ghost! Telephone dial. Open door. Possess the dog. Or whatever. <laughs> huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course. Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach their other person directly. Guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are, presumably, the little dog you died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see. Dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh. There's no time to... Oh my god. There's no time to lose. How cute is that picture? <laughs> Miss Cam uh, Camilla. My Miss Camilla is in trouble. You mean, you remember? You know who you are? That's right. I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Kamala! Miss Kamala! My Miss Kamala is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before the little guy's death. Time to save this thing. Time to save this his life. Time to save this his life. Okay. Update the phone book. This his life.
Man, when it's when do we have a time like a time limit? It's a lot of pressure. Spooky, it's scary. Spooktober. <laughs> uh, let's see. First of all, I better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Hmm. Looks like the dead can move around together. This is land four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means we're going to save Miss Kamala, doesn't it? Kamala. Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Kamala can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's your uh, way your mind works, eh? Guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first, we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then, we use what we learned to save Kamala. Camila, Kamala, Vice President Kamala Harris. I thought that would be a funny joke. I thought my head would come up with like a funnier joke, whatever. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. All right, let's watch it. I do like how we get to watch it unfold. That's nice. Yippee, found the remote. A Christmas tree? Is this a Christmas game? Am I spl playing Nightmare Before Christmas? Shut them up, up, up. <laughs> Having problems reading apparently tonight. No, Missile. You've, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crappier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. Uh, drink my wine. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn. Really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Oops, oops! Oh, man. All oh, those headphones. Very precarious to have those hanging right above the fish tank. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. God, I actually really like this art style, though. It's got a nice look to it. Like, it's got a nice pop to the colors and everything. I bet this looks pretty nice on the DS, too. I'll knock this wall down! Bang, bang! Oh, boy. Oh no. <laughs> I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. The L looked like a one to me. I don't know why. It's like, oh. It's a nice font. Bang, kill the dog. That's really upsetting. That's really upsetting to see. Uh, so that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started saving her. But let's see. How are we going to do this? Seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! <laughs> this dog is great. This dog is a great character. Um, I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. It's a shame we're only going to see the dog for this chapter. It seems like we probably move along like the scene from scene, you know, scene to scene. And we get like a different like helper. A different character we kind of like possess as like a, as a dead thing. You know what I mean? Um, I just like that, like, I was going to say the thing about 
like writing like human language for dogs i think can be i don't want to say tricky because i don't want to tricky might not be the right term i'm looking for but like to make it so that it's like get that energy for like like what a dog is constantly high on energy but then it also not be like obnoxious i don't know what point i'm trying to make but whatever uh oh i don't think she could do that did you notice her putting those red things on her head red things oh you mean the headphones whatever she puts those red things on until that's it i can call her name until my throat is sore but she never hears me to be perfectly honest i hate those red things hmm. you're right With those headphones on our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun how oblivious do you have to be to not see your dog get shot like five feet from you uh so maybe that's our first lead now we know we have to do something about that Kill the headphones. Make them drop in the water. Kill them. Uh... What happens if I do this? Bam! And then... Retract... Well, can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around watching. An intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. But my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. The first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Open door. Do I have to, like... That's funny. What's wrong? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm. Looks like I can't use telephone lines in the four minutes before Death World. Okay. Oh, so close. You almost knocked those red things down. Hey, I think you're onto something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Kamala won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Kamala will get a scolding from Miss Lin. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you've obviously never seen Miss Lin when she gets mad. Okay, so at what order... Do I have to, like, smack her? Do I have to make her, like, trip? Somehow? Do I just open the door on her legs? This is a matter of timing. Uh-oh. This is good. Miss Kama's gonna put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. Once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Bam! Ow. Why is this acting up all of a sudden? I don't really like getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. It's like the door is a bad dog biting the hand that feeds it. Although, with missile, it's missile, 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 missile. It's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than my hand. Get her again. Just keep doing it. Fuck it. Who cares? You're, you're shot. You're tricking her. You're delaying the four minutes. Ba ba. Okay, I don't think I can just keep doing that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Let's go. I just had to keep trying. <laughs> How did I manage to do that? Lynn just brought the uh, bought those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Sure. Darn. I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Kamala. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No. Never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. 
At least now I can use a little lady's ears to help us. Yeah. Fate changed. Now where am I going? I need to... I probably need to get over there. Oh, donuts. Yeah, the donuts. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so... In that case... Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Kamala? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm. I think I might just have this... Have... Uh, I think I might just have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Kamala in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Kamala herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? Should I be using these hint things? Or is the, are these, these hints too much? Should I be trying to play without the hints? The little triangle things? I can't tell if I, would, I should be clicking them or if they're like... I should be just using them in case of like an emergency. I didn't know how much the hints actually were supposed to be like solving so or giving help. At first I thought it was like like extra dialogue that I was like, oh, I'd want to see it. You know what I mean? But I also don't want the answers to just be like painted out to me. And also if the viewing experience is better for me just trying to like not read the hints. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on. Move cart. Rock bowl. Get that donut. Ornament. Shut that mud up. Rotate faster. Oh my god, it's dangerous. It's whipping. How do I get this thing to... Did something there. Floor lamp. not what I meant to do. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Stop, stop. Stop going fast. <laughs> stop. Oh, 
I was just like, huh? I can't make another donut fall. Hmm, what do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come, and I won't bark. Yeah, and the barking part is your favorite, right? Hmm, looks like only one donut will fall. I only get one chance. Oh no, do I have to go back in time? Do I have to redo this? Squeaky! Where'd the donuts go? Oh shit. I am fucked up. We only have one donut. I can't just willy nilly be making donuts all. Alright, how do I do this then? So should I rewind completely? Is there actual fail states? Like, have I failed? I assume I have to do... Maybe have the donut fall on this side, and then have something happen to this. I... Okay, let's try a, re a tactical reset. She gets the donuts. That's not what I meant to do. Cart. Move cart. I like I like the idea of just having a big a big bowl of donuts like that. That's the life right there. And then spin fast. Goes up higher. Turn latch. Slow. And then... Do I want to play this, or...? Big donut. It's a pink, pink, uh... Well, bam! Yeah! Yeah! Go under the sofa! What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. Perfect. Easy. Call me... Puzzle... Puzzle lad. Because I'm solving puzzles. My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Different voice, probably. I have no voice permanence in my brain. Whoa. Oh, that was some skill. There. Our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the only one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Kamala? Yup. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. Can't attest to that. Oh! Oh, thank you! Can I ask a question? Sure. What is it? 
What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. Uh, I guess... That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So, what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But, we'll meet again sometime, right? I wish. Yeah, maybe, if you die again. <laughs> what did you do, uh, what you did for me tonight? I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, I guess we'd better get be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. What a good doggy. And now a newborn present is born. Wait, <laughs> I read that. <laughs> uh, why did I read it as like that? A newborn, no. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Okay, I really need to get water if I'm going to do this. Okay, give me like two seconds. I'm going to go get my wa uh, some water. Okay, I'm back. Let's see, resume. Ring, ring, motherfucker! What? I'm still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way! Hmm, guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. Can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. Better hurry. I like these names for these guys. Also, <laughs> I knocked... <laughs> so, I assume there there's like divert like items that are diversions or red herrings like i i did a whole thing where i went like i knocked like a box out of this thing up here and i thought that was going to be a thing but it's not it wasn't even needed but it seemed so intricate of a thing that i was like i was like oh it's going to come in handy at some point it didn't do anything <laughs> it had no bearing on the situation at all Oh, it's just nonsense. I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. It's just very funny to me. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, tricky, tricky triangles right there. Uh, what was that all about? She says, "You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did." Maybe I shouldn't answer it. At least it didn't make it worse. Yeah, at least it didn't fuck me over. Good point. Lynn, trick time. Oh shit, we're we're back and playing the feud. Door, floor lamp. Uh, 
Uh oh. Well, we're not being timed right now. So now we're not. It's interesting. There's like timed moments, and then there's like, ah, oh, you're just chill. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Dr. Desklamp taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? Better try possessing him and see. <laughs> oh, it's you, it's you. It's hmm come to think of it, I never did ask your name. Guess it's good we ran into each other again then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye? I missile But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I could talk to that person? Looks that way, yes. <laughs> Wait, do I need to do it again? Huh, that Kamala never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how <laughs> that point. Uh, okay. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. Is that what she's showing off, eh? Well, I'd like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. So I gotta get to the Get to the phone. Get to that phone. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. God. A call from Lynn, eh? Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. Better go possess that phone and listen in. Kamala! Oh! Thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. You might be in danger to stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. Can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. The fuck is this man? Excuse me! L L Lynn! Oh. Shit. Not again. <laughs> Damn, we really need to be... <laughs> we really need to move the, the fish tank. Uh, darn. Now I've dropped the phone in there, too. How about if we tell her you, you did it, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn's alright. Better get going. I know where I, I know right where Dead End Drive is, <laughs> but I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? Oh, good thing I've already done the light work here, seemingly. It's right in front of you. Oh my God! It's right there in front of you. This isn't working. Got it. Right in front of her face this whole time. This is it, the music box. Yippee! Yeah. 
dump that in my skirt pocket, I guess. I'll leave the remote here, but don't you touch it, missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Immediately presses it on. Okay, I'm leaving now, missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. Still no peace to the little lady, and the redhead, Lynn, is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Nice. New song. Save. Oh, I kind of like the idea of like these bite-sized chapters. Chapter 3. 804. Couple more today? I don't know. We'll do, you know, take it a chapter at a time. See how we feel. I mean, I'm not done, if that's what you're asking, at least right now. That's some delicious water. Alright. Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, fast. I gotta get to her. Probably travel via phone. So I wanna talk to the dog? Kinda. I like talking to the dog. <laughs> oh, hello! What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try! About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. I think you might be right there. But I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. Lady next door kicks the wall. I've got a lot of, uh, quite a bit of influence around these parts. That was worth it. Darn. With the receiver in the fish tank, I can't use a tel- Wait, what? Can't use the telephone lines. Why is that? That doesn't make sense. I disagree. Don't tell me. I'm trapped in this room. Fuck, am I getting out? Answer, I think was going to be obvious. It's a fucking remote. It was made obvious and I ignored it. I'll knock this wall down! If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you! She has a phone. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. 
Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. <laughs> Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door, and I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. I have to do something to change the situation. If I can create just a little more racket somehow. A little more racket. Bunch of noise. Yeah, go, baby. Go, baby. <laughs> I'll bomb this wall! Oh my god. That dog went flying. Oh no. What? I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. My hair is ridiculous. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? <laughs> you are. But the TV and the star ornament aren't. Uh, I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. Looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? A bottle. Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is just standing, just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. Trick time. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're gonna go save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to go help Miss Kamala, too. We create our own ra uh, our pa <laughs> We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. I guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Look at a move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tonight is our holiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here's to the Borsh people next door. Update the phone book. Hachu, hachu. Are you alright, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? How was that? Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place anyway? Now, where's that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it. If I can just mm, slip on by. Her name is Kamala. Valiant pet. Perfumed lady. Okay. Let's see what I got here. I got a rat. Drop that rat. Poke that rat. Dictionary examine. Oh, 
Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm, ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. Go look at the dictionary. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. What is a dictionary? Rat attack! Turn the windmill! What happened to the rat? <laughs> Smack! Know the rat? Poke. Poke rat. Oh. Turn. Heavy, may that one better strike the power, smell like weapon than a book. No, I mustn't. It so strong it overwhelms me. I've always wondered if you can be overwhelmed by something, can you just be plain whelmed? Don't nag at me until I'm sure. Alright, do I have to time this accurately here? Hit that hit the rat. Hit the rat. Oh, fuck. No, the fuck. Oh, there it is. But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Perhaps, my darling angel. <coughs> Mama. Mama. Lamp. Turn. Turn the knob. I'm trapped. I, I'm trapped. What is it, my darling angel? Ow, oh, my head hurts, mama. My poor dear, I know one with a fever of 102. Here's your night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go to my, uh, go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best, but wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Kamala next door or something. Here is to be the blood honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today's Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight after all. Mama, wait! I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Damn. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. 
update the phone book. Okay. The lamp is out! Whoa, hey -o. What is going on? Oh, I made a typo. Oh. I got tossed perfectly. Clever. Clever. Your boy's got it. Your boy's got it. God, there's too many characters. I, I've, I've, I've officially run out of voices. <laughs> I've run out of shitty voices. Uh, hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. Let me talk to Amelie, then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I want to have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. No, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute! Don't try to call again, I won't answer! My review is over! <laughs> Trace complete. Nice. What happens if I just go to a place that's like completely not necessary. Like, what happens if I just teleport to the junkyard? <laughs> not much time has passed since I was last here. Here last, but the situation has changed. Oh. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Was the junkyard where I was supposed to go? Fuck, I wasn't thinking. I honestly, I, for some reason in my head, for, for some reason in my head, I was like, oh, I, there's some other thing that I was supposed to jump to, but I guess you're right. I'm an idiot. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Kind of fucked it, fucked it up. And beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is too. Wasn't thinking well nothing new. Alright. Alright, time to ban. Time to time to time to time out. <laughs> I wonder if that person really is too. <sighs> uh welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? Police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? She alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Excuse me! Sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that a hitman is after her again. Well, don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. C custody You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm. Better see what I can find out. It's trick time. Quite a thing, huh? This case? Yeah. One of our own. A murderer. Heads will roll over this. One of our own? A 
the murderer? Why does that feel so eerie, like mysterious, so important of a line? And she's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. But like me! Bag. Bag. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would well, you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanel, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. I could take the phone again. Yeah, let's see if I'll try it again. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanel is our top investigator. Don't want to get him all bent out of shape or it'll be hell to pay. Hmm, don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanel wants to come for either. Probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me! Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, he's flamboyant. Oh, he's got the sauce. Ah, oh, the tension! I don't know what to get. Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> Just making notes. It's, it's been a long weekend. Alright, uh... Ah, the tension of a crime scene! Oh, he's got the moves, dude. Yeah, nothing like it, baby! Oh, uh... Oh, I got some little kicks. Ooh. Sashay away, dude. Oh my god. I'm in love. Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. This is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. He seems, uh... Unique. Update phone book. Oh no, another new character. <laughs> deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough about fair to average, if I had to say. Yes, it's going all right. None of these voice, like, slight voices I give to these characters are going to stick around for part two. I'm not going to remember any of these. So if by any chance you, for some strange reason, like the voices I'm giving the characters here in part one, just know everything is going to change the next stream. <laughs> None of this is being remembered. <laughs> Everyone's getting a different voice. <laughs> just, uh, just a fair warning. Uh, not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put the other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes! Ah, sorry about that, Spectre. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it here. It made you made it. That other fellow just <laughs> threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. 
Yes, him. <sighs> Sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Chase complete. Park. Now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Doc, yo ho, oh Doc. Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need, don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Look at my giant ass stethoscope. Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Oh, she is being blamed for it. Look at that. I predicted what was happening. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah! Nothing like it, baby! Carry on, boys! Good luck, sir! see what happens go to the apartment this line doesn't seem to be working oh yeah it wouldn't be working because of broken you know just if I wanted to go see the dog or something still typing away passionately I see she type her fingers to the bone to complete her tale of love I imagine Uh, uh, choking on water. The little girl with the fever seems to be sleeping now. Hope she's having sweet dreams. Oh, my, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Hmm, guess not. Okay. So you can just... Teleport somewhere for some reason. I was just curious, like, if it was, like... I don't want to say, like, get, like, try to see how open it was of a game. Like, so far it seems pretty, uh... Pretty, uh, on... <sighs> What's the term I'm looking for? Not on rails, but... One path, kind of... I mean, it makes sense. It's a fucking puzzle game, but... With a defined story. I don't know, I was just curious what would happen if you did that. Let's go. Ah. Reach. Ah. Reach. Ah. Linear? Yeah, that's closer to what I mean. Umbrella? Dial. Ooh, that Inspector Cabanella sure has a strange air about him. You could say that again. I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. Here he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? How should I know? I think we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? This is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? The memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But 
but I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is... <laughs> Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! I, I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, guess that proves it's a real gun. Bang. What was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun. Oh no. Got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Um, if you say so. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, greenie, get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see you to it, you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir, I'll send him right up, sir. Trace complete, super's office, nice. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. Oh, look at him shuffle. God, everyone's got such an interesting walk cycle in this game. <laughs> Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. New background? You can change the background from the display screen under Options. Obtain a new song. New illustration. Save current data, yeah. Wait, background like the... One sec. Background? Wait, wasn't there... Illustrations? Did I miss it? One sec. Oh, look at all this. Let me go back there. Uh, it was in options. Where's background? Let me see. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Oh! Oh, you can change. You can independently change them too. Look at this. Oh, the Lin one is great though. Oh, that's per perfect. Actually. We'll have mismatching. Alright, we're already on chapter 4. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, let's do another one. Oh, look at that. Is the mismatched uh, sides distracting? Or do we like it? Changing a person's fate is no easy task. Especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Look pretty cool to me. I, that's what I think too. Kind of like it. 
No, Lynn, hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate, and you superintend. You have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each of the leech to, uh, <laughs> Let's leave each to his own uh, profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Update the full book. Oh, so cool. Everyone's so cool in this game. Doc, what takes you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now, let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. It's just attracts death. Telephone, turn on desk. Swivel. Oh, we got a seat. We got a screen transition. Ball. Motor. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. Only thing we can do now is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Lynn, how could I let this happen to you? Circle. Damn right I turned that desk on. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? She's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead. So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might. Can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remi uh, remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently, you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. <laughs> yeah! There, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ugh, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Uh, about me. I'm looking for the answers to the questions, who am I, and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? 
The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. Ring some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. But why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. <laughs> Two strangers. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year? My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die? In an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. Shock setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects. About going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know? You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And... You saved me? That's right. You don't remember? Bang. <laughs> hmm. Yes. I think I do remember something like that happening... Vaguely. Yes. I did get shot by a blue man dressed all in black. Guess it means that even if death is erased, the memory of it remains. That's weird. Uh, so I died twice already tonight? Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. It's like she's pretty much recovered already. So you don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way, I don't think it was an a uh, any accident. Why in the world would I be out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You mean, bingo, by you. Uh, I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. you got to be kidding me. There's not a saying that I don't remember. Ugh, everything's so confusing. Can't you do something? Hmm. Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? who I am and why I was killed. I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. It's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me? Even though I probably won't be able to help you. Selfish. I know it's so. <laughs> I know it's selfish. <laughs> this is exactly what I said. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve that case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What do you have? Uh, what you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot. Rewind up. Save the girl. 
do the thing. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Oh, let's watch her die. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Ooh, the pink notebook. Uh, detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. A nice succulent chicken dinner? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanel is on his way. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> Skulking. Evening, patrolman! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work. Now, do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir! Yo! How's it going, baby? Baby, ugh. Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, when my Lynn's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. I like her boots. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm, never? baby. Oh, well, uh, before tonight, I mean, he asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved in any big cases. You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like how often he's saying baby to her. You know, if anything ever happened to you, I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to on answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby! Get down! Ooh, my hand. Seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record. Did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, looks like the hitman fired from outside. Be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Alright, here we go. Under pressure. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You like that uh, chicken? All right, soul. There's a whole area down here. Wonder if I have to get down there probably at some point then. There's the notebook. Oh, look at that guy's nose. He's got a dinner roll. He's got, it's like a, either a dinner roll or like a chicken leg for a nose. I guess maybe a chicken would make sense if he's it's at the, the chicken kitchen. Uh, a different voice. Uh, whatever. Fuck it. Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want chicken? We got your chicken. One <laughs> chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. Move to the other location. Uh, sure. What's 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 to lose? I'd love to go to the chicken kitchen. Wait, does he have a pinwheel in his hat? Hello, where would you like that delivered? They hung up. <gasps> oh, I like this music. <sighs> la la la, it doesn't matter, a chicken order or two lost. If it were three orders, that would be a different story, though. La la la. Ew, his nose is pulsating. Okay. Alright, he's just going. He's just going. Ring a bell? Hmm. Time is passing. I know time is passing. Oh my god, so much time is passing. I think I'm fucked up. <laughs> hmm, that's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but I don't see it now. But we came here by telephone line. Apparently, in this four minutes before death world, you can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, looks like we can't go anywhere. Guess I'll have to start over. Oh. Well, damn. I got enticed by the chicken kitchen. got some curious soul thing. pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? The fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. So his tongue can be sharp. Sure, why not? Hey, better to, what's the phrase? Better to have uh, uh, loved and lost than to never loved ever again something like that but mold it into basically to make sense with this better to have adventured and lost but to then to have never have adventured at all put that on a quote hmm? <laughs> uh, I can hear what you're thinking remember I know good one What's in the microscope? What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? <sighs> Why'd you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. 
Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn uh, doesn't like very much. Yes, sir. Don't do that. I'm sorry. Hello, chicken! Succulent chicken meal! Would you like fried chicken? Stay. Don't go! It's a trap! It's a trap! Don't do it! Trick time. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Swivel, go. Swivel! Bloop. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. Wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanello was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir! In a very suspicious manner. And in a very suspicious, or a conspicuous place. <laughs> Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink. And it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using a phone when I came in too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't uh, don't let on you noticed anything. Hey, look at that! The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if we tried it now. Bet you're right. Detective, he's talking to us outside in the junkyard, and that's where the horrible hitman is, uh, who's after me is too. Okay. Don't fuck me, game. <laughs> Don't fuck me. Don't screw me over. I've been waiting for you. E, ooh, what are you? A desk lamp. That sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means we have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot you took your, uh, that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level. A scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few of the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair. Anyway, don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Climb me. Carry on, boys. Hey, change. Gotta fold, must fold. All right, gotta do the whole.
remember the series of events. I'm beating him up here. I'm beating him up here. What is this? A searchlight? Oh, he's moving. Oh, that was tricky. That was close. Oh my god. I see my target. Time to go to work. I guess Ray's voice is supposed to be old. Yeah. If he's grandpa, if he truly is grandpa. It's too late though. I won't I I can't we can't change until next stream. It's just the fact of it's just the fact of the matter. I'm too set. <laughs> I'll be head of the Hitman division my next month now for sure. There he is, the horrible hitman. I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. Update the phone book. All right, stop him from shooting. Open, uh, yeah. But cha ching Searchlight. Bicycle. Blind him. Blind attack. There, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, uh, so I'm safe now, right? Well, it changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. Hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really gonna stop him. If you wanna rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's look at something else before he gets a shot in. Fate changed. Um, so we can go back down. What happens if I pedal this? Excellent. Well, why would I want to be back on the bicycle? I don't think it does anything. Oh, he, he's walking back and forth. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Nightstick. Go. Policeman. He's right in front of you. Look around. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even less bitterly light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, if I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. Sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm gonna spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I fuck it. Ah, uh, no. Fuck. Alright, so flashing light, lever. <laughs> oh, look at that. One of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. Very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Time is passing. So now where is he? Huh? Nothing happens. That's funny. I thought this lever was for swinging the crane arm around. I like to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. I heard. Uh. Wait, do I have to just keep spooking him? Ugh. 
that. saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Oh. Okay. ka -ching. What's he saying? Musings of a Hitman, part one. When I fire a bullet, I put my heart and soul into it. Bullet is my soul, shot of the expression of my soul. That's why I never waste bullets. Besides, I have to put the extra bullets down as an extra expense. The county never likes that. What the heck is that idea bothering about? Hey. Get mad at me. Stop this guy. We gotta stop him. Okay, so I can turn the light on on him, but he's just gonna move again. Look, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. No. And then he just sits up right here again. Okay, well, let me try. Does, I mean, I haven't tried the flashing light. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Wasn't me, went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off of it. Don't want to waste any electricity. I think it's gotten that tight. It's pretty sad. Been really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. Won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. Better be free to at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. To this nightstick. Hey ah Lower hook Wow such power and speed I thought that would put a nice stop to my horrible hitman just stopped him, that would be fine. But if it killed him, right about... Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. Anyway, just focus on the stopping part. Apparently thinking about thinking things too deeply isn't something you like to do. Just the right amount, that's why detectives think about things. Now come on, let's do this. Or stop stamping out evil makes me feel so alive. Except for the fact that you're dead. Okay, I gotta go fast. Um... I have to turn this searchlight off. Uh, what's the three? Go, sir, walk, 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 walk. No, 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 no. No! Turn this light off. Uh, and then, uh. No. No, I forgot to go back to his- No! His thing! Uh... They're not a time, dude. No, it's not a time, dude. Even if we block a shot, that only buys us a little more time. I had the idea. Doesn't look like I can discourage him from shooting. Uh, the only thing I was deal with is the uh, play detection is just a little excessive. So I better rewind the clock. All right, we got this. All right, so the idea is, it seems there's three lights, right? They stressed, I think, that there's three lights. One of them's always on. The other two were going off. If I 
turn the, that third one that we approached, the one on the far left, off, turn the other two on, then he'd be designated to go to that area, most likely, I'm assuming, and then we knock him out. Easy. Uh, here I go. Damn. I mean, by the time... I mean, this isn't a serious knock on the game because you just retry it. It's fine. It's whatever. But by the time, like, if you make, like, two couple wrong mistakes and then you have to, like, wait for the loop of, like, people walking or something to, like, come back to you, you're, like, fucked. And then the time, the countdown starts happening. You're, like, ah, shit. I barely had any time to, like, to make, like, some wrong decisions, right? Uh, yeah, we've already read this. Since I won't show up in spots where there's lights. <laughs> Wasn't me. Well, just make sure you lay it off. We got uh, budget cuts or something. Oh boy. Better be free to do at least that much. To the stick. passing okay so we got to go and turn on the light on that middle one i think to really make sure distance on the target but I can't work under a spotlight after all never mind Shalak this is nothing for a man of my skill mr. division head seems to like dark gloomy places I'd be happy to throw him in a dark gloomy cell come on Sissel get him hold up when did I become her assistant uh, uh, uh crossing gate go Smack! Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased again. Period. Again. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it'd really help me pursue my case. Why only this special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said too. Well, I'm jealous of you actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved. Even if you die again tonight, I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life though. Oh, these powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, guess we better be getting back. To the present. To the present! Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. Better go see how she's doing. Zip, zip, zip. Uh, actually. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Well, looks like congratulations are in order. You raised yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds a key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. Better go back to the super's office and see her. Sounds like a good idea. Super's office. Super TF's office. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is live again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Yay! New song? All right, let me see. Oh, so many ghosts. Oh, so they're basically a bunch of achie achievements there. Uh, how exciting. I really like, do like the music in this game. It is a nice touch. Okay, so I assume they remastered like the music or something for this release. Is that probably what this arranged and then this is like original? Let's call it a night. That sounds, it seems uh, productive. Um, same with, uh, I guess technically Little Nightmares, but um, I don't wanna delay too long. I don't want this like this particular game going out throughout the whole month of October. So I would just, you know, I would expect two or three uh, ghost trick streams throughout this coming week, basically. Um, there might be, I don't wanna, 100% confirm it, but there might be some days at the end of this week where I have some time off that I'll be taking. So there might be one or two day streams happening, which then I would say highly possible that we just kind of chip away uh, at this and some other things. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how that look of the week is. Chapter lengths are pretty similar, I think. Oh, you're just talking about timing-wise? So what, if I did like four? Four and three hours? I tried to do mental math in my head and I couldn't do it. Uh, but the thing is, I don't think this game is supposed to be super long either, so I don't think we'll be having to go a, a million streams on this, thankfully. Um, but I am excited. Like I said, I think this is... Uh, the puzzles, they're not like super complicated seeming or anything. I don't think they're designed to be super complicated. Um, it's more kind of like slight logic and then kind of just maneuvering around Like I said uh, the only my only small little complaint there was like damn like if you I mean the punishment of having to replay a certain chunk is not that great like not 
so detrimental, so like, it's not the biggest bummer. But like in that, that one where I kind of failed, I was kind of like, oh, well, if it took me just a two extra attempts to like mess something up, then it's like, oh, well, you're too late because you got to let the guys like walk around, cycle around, and then you got to go to the nightstick and everything. It's not the worst thing. Now, if, if, if like the checkpointing wasn't that great or like, I don't know, somehow it was more punishing, then I'd be like, oh, it's a fucking bummer, but it didn't seem that bad. And I think I think so far the strength so far in this game is the uh, just the <laughs> onslaught of interesting characters. Uh, very good. And I'm actually I'm genuinely curious what the end result of the, the mystery is. Um, at the very start, I thought it was one thing, but I don't, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So I think I fell for the fell for the trap of thinking it was potentially going to be her. So, I'm curious to see what it, that ends up being. Um, something different tomorrow. We'll have uh, two. We'll have two designated Spooktober streams going on simultaneously this week. So, uh, and then Tuesday will be Higurashi. We'll read some Higurashi on Tuesday. That'll be back. So, and then we'll see how we're feeling for like Wednesday night stream. Um whether we want to play more of this or something else so uh thanks for watching on this this sunday night you could have been anywhere but you decided to be here and that's what matters um thanks for watching you're welcome um enjoy the rest of your night what's left of it not much Enjoy your... Have a great Monday. Have a great week. Start strong. And I should be back on tomorrow night. So until then.